Hey yo, it's your boy One Prop Bavarian coming back at you with another episode of Stellaris, and today we're gonna use this as all of the episodes are being used for podcast hour. Today we're gonna talk about an interesting topic, uh, <laughs> actually interesting, genuinely interesting, you know. Uh, so, what's the topic today? The topic today. Did I not destroy this? Oh no, I lost. I remember this. Yeah, the topic today will be Bavaria 1. You may have seen this in the thumbnail. What is Bavaria 1? Now a lot of people may not... Excuse me? Watch your lager. Alright, oh, they can go through wormholes. Uh, a lot of you may not have heard of Bavaria 1 because it is a Germany-specific topic. It's a Bavaria-specific topic, in fact. Level 5, level 1. Correct. Correct. Roller status. Correct. I don't know what that means. Well, you know what? I don't care. Um, what does Bavaria want? Well, Bavaria is a state of Germany, as you know, and the states in Germany don't have as much independence and authority and autonomy as the states in the United States. Now, personally, I think that's good. Uh, I know some of you might disagree, but let's not make this political. I think, you know, I just like where I live and I like the way it is. Oh, are you leaving? I guess it's the perfect planet over here, eh? Um, what did I want to do with... Is this a science planet? Yeah, it sure is. So, Technology what is up secure. with that? With Bavaria 1? Uh, you know, you may... Uh, <laughs> why am I talking about in Stellaris? It's, it's difficult to get to this topic because it's such a an extremely strange topic. Bavaria 1 is a space program by Bavaria. That's right, not by Germany, not by, you know, I don't know, uh, Europe. Exposed. It is by Germany. Now, oh, you're gonna die, son. What does that mean? Well, you know, Germany itself complete. is organized in the ESA, the European Space Agency. We are involved there in taking care of international space missions that are on a European level and interacting with the International Space Station as well. So we do interact with them, with the ISS. Uh, but Bavaria... Oh, okay, we're killing these. Cultural exchange on Tuznov inaugurated. The cultural exchange in Barbaria... Uh, Barbara Isenius' honor is ready. Its opening was genuinely welcomed both by the planet... Pop uh, by the planet's populace and by Xenos in the broader united Bavarian hegemony. A spirit lives on it and... On in it and will be remembered for as long as it is celebrated. Beautiful. Is that forever? Pretty cool. But, what Bavaria did now, uh, the Bavarian government did that, you know, I, I obviously didn't have a vote, but that's just democracy, I, you know, we voted in the Bavarian uh, government and it did what it did. And what they're spending is, I believe, 700 million euro in a space program just for Bavaria. I assume that they will cooperate with the European one and I assume that they will cooperate with uh, NASA probably as well, but you know, let's be real, the cooperation there is never really that large. With the ESA, probably much more, uh, much larger. Oh, look at that, that's interesting. Nico Machos Renanos has announced that he will marry Lobuk Krumtika, an alien trespasser. Bit of a racist name, don't you think? Who are you marrying? Lobuk Krumtika. I'm just wondering if she's a leader. He's a leader? I don't know. Doesn't look like it, it's just a random person. Fair. Although some elements of the population still abhor the very concept of such a union, others are delighted and see it as proof that the united Bavarian Germany has embraced the values of a modern, multi-species state. Yes. There you go. So, 700 million for a Bavarian space agency that probably cooperates with other space agencies, but is independent in itself. Now, you may ask, well, can they even do that? Yes, the answer is we can do that here in Bavaria. We do have enough rights. There's nothing in the constitution against it. I don't care for that. Uh, for what he wanted to give me there. So it is it is something that he does, you know, and it's interesting coming at the same time as the entire issue. I mean, it's several months later, I suppose, but coming at a similar time as the Space Force in the United States of America. And I laugh because just Space Attacking Force enemy is assets. such a fantastical term. But of course, Space Force per se doesn't actually mean anything fantastical. Complete. It means something rather real, you know. Uh, space is a military area. You gotta do stuff there, if you, unless you know you have uh, treaties that prohibit it. But let's be—I mean, let's be real here. Even those that prohibit, you know, 
space military units they probably still got it i mean you know it's i'm just saying you know <laughs> what it boils down to is the following i personally believe it's an interesting pro uh, program i would have rather much rather seen it in cooperation in a european program in the esa you know pump give bavaria give 700 millions to the esa i'm fine with it but if you look at the thumbnail, that is the official goddamn logo of Bavaria 1, of the Bavarian space program. It's literally our minister president, which is as much as a state governor, if you want to translate it into American terms. And that's just like, yeah, you know, I don't know what to tell you about that. You could have chosen a better logo than hit your, your own face, goddammit. Uh, but generally, what are the merits? What are the merits? Of a program such as this one what are the counter arguments of a program such as this one i personally believe that uh stuff like this can be beneficial because it creates new competition it creates competition that wasn't there before uh you know the esa was all on its own essentially not even in direct competition to the nasa Attacking simply because nasa nasa what do you say in english we say nasa in, in german and considering that a German brought you to the moon, eh? you might as well talk German, am I right, everybody? Boom! Werner von Braun joke landed. I uh, can, can just check off the, the joke section in this, in this video. But what it, boils, what it boils down to is very, very simple. Uh, why don't you hang... Yeah, just go back to schnitzel. What it boils down to is extremely simple. Does it matter whether or not we we get significant progress out of should it should we have invested the money in something different well you know when you ask these questions the answer is always yes you can always invest money in something different that you know may be considered more worthwhile just generally but is that truly always the case i don't know i don't know we could have invested it in social programs right in uh what about some some parental money some Money for having kids, for money for pensioners, you know, money to build your own home. But when I say that, I also say, well, you know, they're already actually doing it. They're pledged to do that. And whatever the elections bring in 10 days, the elections happen on the 14th of October. Uh, when this video releases, it's the 4th. And whatever the elections bring, uh, the ruling party will most likely still be the CSU, the Christian Social Union, which complete. is the conservative party here next to the AFD these days. And uh, the deal with that is just like, you know, how do you, how do you interact? Uh, where do we build you? Over here, I guess. Let's build you. Wait, why do I build you again? No, actually, it's a bad choice. Let us build a temple, actually. There you go. So what's the what's the point, right? We're already investing into it, and the government that pledged to invest into all those social programs uh, will most likely be in government again in the next period, in the next le legislative period. By the way, reminder: every Bavarian go vote. Also, every Hessian you have a state election as well. I think in October or something. I don't know, dude. Hessen Who cares about that, right? Uh, but what I'm saying is, without any party politics, without considering that the dude put his face on the logo Star i think charted. it's kind of a neat program uh, program isn't it because if it can produce you know some results and bring the technology sector even more than it already is into bavaria i think it's a very very valuable investment now will it actually pay out like that or is it just a completely bonkers prestige project we'll see about that when the actual investment flows and the uh scientists are supported it doesn't matter if we are you know in competition to somebody that obviously has many more millions and millions in a budget which is the nasa 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 is what they say right it doesn't matter because our competition is just like bring the sector for microchips for ai for electronics for microelectronics etc bring all of that to bavaria and you do the entire state a favor so there are positives, there are negatives. Oh, also, hello. Your species is a worthy one, and your adherence to the Im immature doctrines of faith are to be commended. Accept this gift of sacred knowledge as a token of our boundless benevolence. Ooh, what the fuck? Yes, I accept, baby. Give it all to me. 
Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, what I'm saying... Essentially boils down to Technology this. Secured. Any investment is an investment, and that's a good investment. Alright, I'm on, on the side... Ooh. Huh. Interesting. I will... I will take this one, and then we will finish this one. Aesthetics. Governing ethics attraction increased by plus 15% of plans with the temple building chain. We have the temple building chain, so there you go. Now we have an ascension slot. Third one. Mm, future society. Shared destiny. I am not the biggest fan of any of these. Hmm... I don't think Consecrated Worlds. I mean, it would make sense, but it, I don't think it's worth it. Eternal Vigilance, One Vision, Grasp the Void. All these are boring as hell. Uh, I guess we could take this one. Fleet Command Limit, plus 20. Naval Capacity, plus 80. Interstellar Dominion. Starbase Influence Costs. I think we're going to take Galactic Force Projection. And then we just pump out ships like there's no tomorrow. Alright, you know what? We've done it. Now let's compare ourselves to everybody else. Now that's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Frankly, it's soon going to be time to do some more stuff here. The ship upkeep is fairly low with the ships that we have. We only have 29 to be fair, but man, that's, that's not that much. Anyway... Bavaria 1, silly project, silly logo, but it should bring some industry to us, so it's a good thing. Uh, there's other things we could have done with the money, but I mean, here we are, you know. Ah, uh, Bavaria, I love you so much. Sometimes I do wor worry about our future, but not this time. Because Bavaria 1 will probably literally be the first to settle the stars. Not, I mean, not really, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's a fun project that should bring... Uh, Technology hubs to Bavaria. Or at least that's what I tell myself to sleep at night. Uh, regardless, I would like you to go over here, get those mining stations up and running. And I mean, that's practically it. We still have no threat down here. The Hindenburg extinguishers do worry me, though. Construction as they are complete. coming closer and closer. Construction complete. But you know, that's just the way Cookie crumbles. Let's get some science going here. Ah, oh, shit. I think if we focus on being a science planet, it also pushes down. Let me see. Where is it? Um, Zura Corp. Oh, it's just a, an enclave. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. Let's go with the research world. Oh. No, we're going to do that immediately. Construction complete. Because I thought it would impact Unity, but it doesn't impact Unity at all. So I think we are in a great spot in that regard. You're still doing your thing, are you? Yep, you are. Let's get this one next. The develop research world, right? That's fine. You, what are you doing? Construction complete. There you are. Right. So yeah, Bavaria won. Uh, now the United Bavarian Hegemony is no longer a dream, but will be a reality very, very soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, every time I like talk like that, I have to laugh about it. Uh, what, a, what a premise. What a premise. What a world we live in at the end of the day. Ah, back to the game though. What are we doing here? We got a Gaia world that we obviously cannot use. Yeah, Emerald Mausoleum, that's, that's definitely not usable. Uh, we could and we probably should like expand up here once we've closed the hole here, which we will do. I mean, there's no point really to say anything against that. It's a solid choice that we shall go through with eventually. Uh, having more people grow here is good because then we can actually build a new building over here that boosts more things. Uh, we don't really need additional food, but you know, let's just do it preemptively. There you are. Has your country 
a sizable if unless you're from the US. I mean, you know, come on. But has your country does your country have a sizable space program? I think India is building one up. I think China is building one up. And you know the thing about it, like if I were doing it, you could say, Oh, but do you even have the money? We I think in like twenty sixteen we had a surplus, a budget surplus of two billion. And we're spending seven hundred million in a space program. So it's like, yeah, yeah, we got money. Anyway, while serving Shakyon 2B, a science ship discovers a large iron tablet floating in orbit. Engraved on it are directions to three planets across the galaxy and a series of pictograms showing various energy convergences onto each. The purpose of these convergences are unknown, as they do not resemble any known scientific phenomenon. You must find these planets or it is just meaningless babble. The lost desire event chain. <laughs> Would really love to take the influence, but at the same time, man, you gotta... Take what you can. The lost desire, there it is. One is up here. Yeah. Uh, what? I can travel through yours. I can't travel through yours. That creates a bit of an issue. Why do you hate me so? I mean, you are driven to simulators, I suppose. Can I just... Can I be cheeky here? Can I do that? Totally can. Maybe. Receiving <laughs> communications. Energy credits, monthly Urantic crystals. Which one was that again? Energy weapon. Uh, we still have enough of these, right? We do. Alright, now we don't. But that gave us a lot of energy crystals and I'm a big fan of that uh, reality. Let's just continue down that path. In the meantime, you guys are growing. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna build like a shitload of fucking. Yes, absolutely. Yes, thank you very much. Technology secured. Let's build all of these. Then let's build a construction isotope refinery. Uh, economic district. Send a ship to investigate the floating windows. As your colony sets its foot, da uh, foot down and begins to spread over the planet, you receive reports of what is described as a multitude of floating windows. What do you mean colony? In the sky over United... What the fuck is this event? Though there are currently many, some are slowly disappearing. I don't know what they meant by this. But I'm going to take the Star Fortress first, I think. Anyway, uh, we have an event now here. Which one is this? Alright, I don't know what that means. Let's keep investigating that. Anyway, you need something. Oh, where did you Star where you? System charted? Wait, who are you? <laughs> who are these people? Uh Togo species. Everon, right? Who are you? Of the planet Chagrid. In Shabaneth, apparently. What? Do you have these people? We do have a migration treaty, but... I mean, welcome. I'm not going to say anything. If this world makes you happy, we're going to... You know, who am I to stop you? What do you do? Happiness and fast allies is so entirely worthless, practically speaking. Uh, how about we go with some physics research, because we are lagging behind on that, as we are on almost everything. And then let's go with some good old sociology. Ah, uh, I think most countries, I think Kazakhstan, but I think Kazakhstan doesn't have their own program. I think Kazakhstan, like, just lets the Russians shoot the missiles up there right uh or at least that was the case in the soviet union if i don't misremember which i may very well be doing but i thought that was the case which in turn uh oh a gallery oh a gallery also don't actually have a temple here right what does this actually do nothing High class resort. Right, we don't actually can build that. So what we're gonna do. 
I'm going to build a holo temple down here. What is the gallery here? Hmm. 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 What about we go to Minga? Build a good old gallery over here. Where do we build it though? I feel like building it here would be nice. There you go. I don't think Mexico has a space program. I don't think Canada does. I mean, space program is always like, you know, we're shooting, what we're doing, what we're literally doing is we're shooting one non-commercial satellite up. Like, satellites obviously are everywhere. There's all this garbage in space around us, right? It's got a painting down shore. All this garbage around here, and, and that's just the way it is. Uh, but... I believe that like our satellite is, is going to be like exclusively for research and I don't think that's normal. I don't I don't know. I haven't looked it up that much. You know? Hey, come on. Also, I would like to purchase your services. So what that does, it helps us research things. Also, I would like to uh, establish a think tank. Yes. Thank you. That was very simple. What we're going to do now is we're going to build nothing, apparently. Wait, how do you build the think tank? Oh, I remember. We need a starport over here, which will bring us over the limit because I'm an idiot, but we need a starport there. Siskinoids display psionic potential. Latent psionic powers have begun to manifest in certain individuals belonging to the Siskinoid species, according to leaked reports from authorities in the Siskinoid polity. This must be a fairly recent development, since we have no record of Siskinoids ever displaying psionic abilities on file. According to the leaked reports, these powers are so far limited to a very small minority of the Siskinoid species as a whole. Scientists in the Siskinoid polity have offered no explanation. Uh, that sounds like they adopted their perk there. I don't know why they were able to do that one. Alien entity identified. A, a tubular alien uh, entity has entered orbit of Vestaland with no warning or explanation. It appears to be moving without engines or thrusters, gliding in complete silence through the void of space, cylinders rotating ominous, uh, ominously. Though it is yet to display any signs of aggression, it refuses to acknowledge our hails. A military advisor warns that it may pose a considerable threat to the inhabitants below and implore us to engage neutralization protocols. Our scientists, however, plead that we instead learn from this remarkable piece of technology. We shall study it. Alien studies, plus 30% everywhere. Look at this thing. I like this one. This one is beautiful. Beautiful, strange entity. Oh, it just stops rotating, actually. This is... L oh. Right, we can now sow unrest, which we will do for soon enough. I think for the moment, let's just take this. Ah, oh, already the enigmatic cash departs. A relief for the citizens of Vassalon. Can we still... We can still totally look it up. So where's it going? Is I feel like this thing is so fast. That is incredible. So it's going towards Verinuth. So it's going deeper into our territory, which I'm a big fan of. Welcome to my territory. Check it out. None of these. Thank you very much. Right. Construction complete. Speaking of construction complete, let's build this one up once more. Inactive buildings, huh? Where? Oh. I mean, I'm just going to put you over here then. How's Vestalant doing? Very, very well. I love it. How, how slow are you growing? That's really very, very slow. You're not a slow breeder, though. So I don't know how exactly it happened. But we are now extremely multicultural. And those people that, that are, you know, the different species here are actually standing very well together, I would argue. <laughs> and now that we've gotten this uh, this change in, in attitude when it comes to how many we can build, you know, what our fleet power, our naval capacity is, everybody suddenly is equivalent. Now, we still haven't built any ships, which is you know, a bit of a negative part for us. But hey, what can you say? Gotta start somewhere, right? Oh, look at this thing, right? I remember this. What's that? Festivals. Agri World. 
Shipyard build speed. Still losing energy credits, sadly. Hmm. Just look at this planet. Look at that goddamn planet. Oh, you have finally arrived. Since we are allowed here, I would now love to actually investigate this thing. Excuse me. Special project complete. Enigmatic cache. Despite extensive research, uh, the enigmatic cache and its or origin are still shrouded in mystery. Though it is definitely not organic in nature, it is not entirely machine either. It appears to be preoccupied mainly with the gathering, storing, and encoding of data. Its surface is covered in hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents in which we have discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. Not even from our galaxy. Wow, that is so crazy. I should colonize it. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Colonize it. Come on. Uh, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, my only lover. Goodbye. Hold it. Something like that, right? Uh, I think we're just going to end the episode right here. We had a good time, except that over there. I will see you in the next one. Later.